What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I bought the R7 Mako. I wanted to try one out. Uh, it comes optics ready. And I finally found an adapter plate from CNH Precision to throw an optic on it. So let's hit the bench and I'll show you how easy this is. I got the Hollow Sun 507K for these subcompacts. Supposedly you can co-witness with these factory sights with an optic on it. So I want to double check that when we get done. But I got this adapter plate from CNH Precision Weapons. Uh, it comes with thread locker, the screws, and the plate. So first off, we'll pull this factory plate off. As always, it has some oil from the factory on there. We'll get that wiped off. And then we just take our new adapter plate. It tells you which way it goes. And these are a tight fit. They're not, they don't slop around at all. We'll get our little screws. Put some of this thread locker on there. And we'll set our optic on. And we'll just use a Torx bit, snug the snug these down, and then I'll get my fat wrench, torque wrench, and torque them to the correct specs. It's as easy as that, not much to it. Uh, as long as you have the right adapter plate to mount that on there, that goes pretty smooth. You can see, you can still co-witness through that. These factory night sights are tall enough that you can co-witness through the red dot, even with the plate on there. Um, if you don't know much about these red dots, they are the dual reticle. So they got just a dot, a circle, or a circle and a dot for that reticle. Uh, they're pretty sweet. They're my go-to for subcompacts. I did an overview on this camera when I first got it. And if you haven't watched that, I'll link it below. This is a sweet shooting gun. It is extremely accurate, well built. The grip on it is great. The trigger is great. So let's jump back up top and take a look at it. So that's how easy it is to throw a red dot on pretty much any striker fired handgun. They're not bad. A couple bolts and just have the right adapter plate. Also, that torque wrench is handy, so you can tighten it down. In the description box, I'll throw a link in there that goes over to our website that has links for the adapter plate, the red dot, that torque wrench I used, and then I'll also link that other video that I mentioned, the overview video I did on this gun. If you guys know of any other aftermarket stuff for these Makos, let me know in the comments. I wanna find some uh, magazine extensions and, and a light and a holster for this. I've been looking, but I haven't had much luck finding stuff like that, so let me know in the comments. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.